Welcome back to Fertier. The biggest mountain round here is Akhtar and at the foot of Akhtar is a place called Tulos, the ancient ruins. Tulos is over 20 miles from Fetier, so book one of the tours, hire a car or get the Sattlikent Dolmish, that's a little minibus which goes from the big mosque in the centre of Fetier town. The journey itself can be interesting, the minibus stops in a small very Turkish town called Kemer where a surprising amount of Brits actually live. The town, which is about 30 minutes from Fetier, is a real working town in the middle of a large farming community. 20 minutes from Kemer is the stop for Tulos. Just ask the driver for Ganeshli Makas. There's a little shop on the corner owned by a guy called Mustafa. I've known this guy for years, so I went in and said hello. Whoa, Whoa now we are. <laughs> That's a good deal. Are you serious? Yeah. He's kind of tricky at us, but yeah. You can walk the one and a half mile up to Tilos, but it's a long journey. If you can get a lift, take it. The Romans, the Lycians, and civilizations before them settled in this region because of the wealth of natural materials, wood and stone for building, and fresh water. Like the Forestry Commission of today, pine forests of this area brought wealth to the ancient civilizations. The trees would have been cut down and floated down the river to Patara, the main port of that time and then sold and distributed around the Mediterranean or across to Egypt or North Africa. The first view that you get of the ruins on the way up is of the Lycian rock tombs and the Acropolis where the castle was built. This spot also featured in the film The Water Diviner with Russell Crowe and Yulmaz Erdogan. to the Acropolis, but it's worth it for the view. The rock tombs are around 3,000 years old and some of the sarcophagi are even older. At the highest point, the castle is 550 metres above sea level. The view from the top is amazing. It gives you a good idea of the scale of Tilos. One of the rock tombs here has the carving of Pegasus, the flying horse, on it. There's about 20 ancient ruins around Fetia, including Xanthos, Patara, Pinara, and close to Uzumlu, Kadianda. And way up in the mountains, there's a little place called Kastabara, which is on the road to Gumbe. As all the tours arrive around 10 o'clock in the morning, it seems like a good time to have a drink and surprise another old friend of mine. This is Ibo's bar and this is Ibo. 
It's called Tulos, Ozden Cafe, but we've always known it as Ibo's Bar. As I lived in this area for around 18 years, Ibo became one of my closest friends. His interest and knowledge in his own culture and the nature that surrounds him. We've spent many hours together discussing the wildlife in this area and documenting rare sightings of several different types of snakes, badgers, porcupine, jackals and even vashak, that's what we'd call the lynx, high in the mountains. The area in front of his bar was excavated several years ago, now the ruins of the most beautiful Roman stadium. The stadium had seating for around 2,500 people. It was once his farming land and he wasn't compensated for his loss. If you want real detailed information about the ancient ruins, it's worth listening to a professionally trained tour guide. This is Amish McTurk, who I met over 25 years ago in the market in Fetier where he used to sell spices to the foreigners. Now he's a well-known businessman in Fetier, but he still loves to come up here and guide his own tours. You'll also come across Nail. This is the young lad who's grown up here. Him and his family have been selling this carved black stone since he was a little boy. His father came from Chura in central Turkey and his name is also Ibo. Archaeologists have been digging here for years, recently clearing most of the site and they have found hundreds of important items and many complete statues. Some of these artefacts are on display in the Fetier Museum. The amazing detailed carving of some of this stone is stunning. Thousands of years ago, in Egyptian script writings, Tulos was referred to as Talawa of the land of Luca. Luca referring to the Lycian people. Charles Fellows came here in 1838. He took several pieces and they're now on display in the British Museum. All these amazing stones have all been painstakingly numbered by the archaeologists who have been doing the restoration of this site. And strangely enough, a lot of people who visit Tulos don't actually see the most spectacular part. And that is the Roman baths. There is something majestic about this place. Its history, the local people, the richness of its beautiful valley or mountain scenery, the exquisite stonework. Coming here will leave you with a lasting memory and I promise you, you will want to come here again. A couple of kilometres further up from the ruins are quite a few restaurants and bars, including the well-known Yaka Park and Saklikenk Gorge is only around 20 minutes away. It's far too much to see in one day, so consider staying somewhere for the night. Just down from the ruins 
is a place called the Mountain Lodge. This amazing boutique hotel was designed and built by an eccentric English guy over 25 years ago. Apparently he had no previous building experience and got all his knowledge from library books. He used to take his guests into undiscovered places in the mountains on hiking and nature trips. He knew the mountains like the back of his hand, although he did occasionally get lost, sometimes having no idea where he was going. But no one ever realised. It's the perfect place to stay if you want to explore the ruins and the rest of this beautiful valley. Get much bigger than that because they grow to the size of the pool. Did you know? No. Yeah. Mm, this is a uh, dut in Turkish. We call them mulberries. You hardly ever see them in England, though. Don't miss my future episodes. Please press subscribe. You look a bit smart dressed for Tulos and Yaka. In episode 6 we'll be visiting the ghost village. That's the abandoned village of Kaya. And we'll be going to Azumla, a place where they make wine and sell it in 5 gallon tins. And finally, we'll be hiking in the mountains at the back of Gujek.